everyone, Arian here from seeyousoon.ca coming to you from Arizona. If there's one landscape that is the most iconic here in the United States, it's the Grand Canyon. And I'm so excited because I'm spending the day there exploring the national park and checking off one big bucket list item. Now you could drive yourself to the Grand Canyon. It's the most common way that people get there. But today I'm doing something a little differently. I'm hopping on the Grand Canyon Railway and riding the train all the way to the park. fantastic time taking the train up here to the Grand Canyon. Highly recommend it. It's very comfortable, relaxing, and gets you a chance to see the landscape on your way up here to the park. The train leaves from Williams at 9.30 a.m. and it departs here at the park at 3.30 p.m. Now, you don't have to do it all in one day. You can stay overnight here at one of the hotels or accommodations at the Grand Canyon to give yourself more time here at the park. All right, well, it's time to come and see the Grand Canyon for the very first time. We're at the South Rim. My heart's kind of racing, I don't know why. It must be the altitude, but here we go. First impressions. I'm having a hard time with there. Yeah, because I mean, when you look out that way. Okay, this is why. Can you imagine this is Okay. This is actually kind of surreal. It actually, it looks like a painting. <laughs> out in front. Um, it is breathtaking. It is absolutely breathtaking. <laughs> So when you arrive here at the South Rim, you will see the village. The village is made up of some restaurants, cafes, water stations, washrooms, and also the start of some hiking trails, which is what I'm about to do. I'm gonna check out the Bright Angel Trail and see some of the sights. How about some facts about the Grand Canyon while I'm taking a little break? So the Grand Canyon is one mile deep. At its widest, it is 18 miles wide, but on average, it is 10 miles wide. It is 277 river miles long, and there are over 200 canyons that offshoot from the Grand Canyon itself. fantastic day here at the Grand Canyon. It has totally lived up to my expectations. And you know, when I first arrived, I felt like I was looking at a painting or it was a green screen. But as the day has progressed, the sun has shifted and there's been more shadows cast within the canyon and it gives it more depth. It's really spectacular. So when you're here, make sure you spend a whole day so you can see the landscape throughout the day. Also, two other very good tips. Make sure to dress in layers and wear sunscreen. Even though it feels cool up here at this altitude, the sun is very strong. If you haven't yet already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date with all of my latest travel adventures. Now there's one thing left to do that I'm very excited about, and that's to watch the sunset.